This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Web scraping with ChatGPT is mind-blowing with GPT mentions. You only need to use the scraper GPT and provide a link to extract data from a website in seconds, and then use the data analyst GPT to download all the data extracted into a CSV file. And in this video, I'll show you how to combine these two GPTs to scrape data and download it. So let's get started. All right, so I mentioned before, in this video, we're gonna use GPT Mentions, which is a feature that OpenAI introduced in the past months. And this feature allows us to connect different GPTs. And in this video, we're gonna use two GPTs. And these are Scraper and Data Analysis. And to do this, first, we're gonna install it. So we go here, we open the sidebar, and then we go to explore GPTs. Here, as you can see, I have it installed it already, but you have to click on explore GPT, and then you have to search these two GPTs. So first you, you type data analyst, as you can see here, I have it already, data analyst, and you're gonna see this GPT. This GPT is made by ChatGPT. And the second is a scraper. And if you already watched some of my previous videos, you already know this GPT. This GPT used to be a plugin that allows us to scrape websites just with the link. And now this is a GPT. And if we connect it with another GPT, in this case, data analysis, we're going to be able to download the data that a scraper is going to extract from websites. So now let's connect these two GPTs. And to do this, first you have to click on the name of the GPT and then start chat. And then you have to type anything you have to interact with the GPT. You can type hi or anything and just press enter to save the GPT. Once the GPT is saved, it's going to be here on the sidebar. It's going to be here. As you can see, it's here. I have these two GPTs that we installed, which is data analyst and a scraper. Once you have this, you start a new chat from scratch. So here, I'm going to start a new chat from scratch. Here is GPT-4. And now we have to mention the GPT that we're going to work with. Since we want to extract data from websites, I'm going to use a scraper. So here I type add and then the name of that of the GPT, in this case, a scraper. So here I type scraper and is this one. Now we need to provide the link of the website that we want to extract. And in this tutorial, we're gonna use this website, which is Audible. Here we have data of audiobooks. And as you can see here, we have uh, different audiobooks. We have the name of the audiobook, the length, and the name of the author and other information. So here I'm going to just copy the link and then I'm gonna paste it here. And the cool thing about Scraper is that we can scrape data from multiple pages. So here, as you can see, there are five pages and I can extract the data from these five pages in just one prompt. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So here, as you can see, I have the, the link and well, this is a lot, a lot of text and I can just simplify this by deleting this. This information that is highlighted is not necessary and I just need this. So here I have page one and I can also add page two by just typing page equal to two. And if you want the five pages, you just type page equal to three, four, and five. Now I'm gonna show you the prompt that I'm gonna use for this example, and is this one. So here I'm telling ChatGPT to extract data from this website, and I'm specifying that this the first is page one and the second is page two. And then I'm telling that I want to I want the table with the name of the book, the author, and the length. And with this, I'm using a scraper to extract data from multiple pages. And by the way, you can also use that scraper plugin, which is this one. So you go here, you activate plugins, and then you go to, uh, you turn on scraper, which is also a plugin. This is working either with a GPT scraper or with a plugin scraper. So here I'm gonna use the plugin scraper and it's gonna be exactly the same. So here I'm gonna just close this one. I'm using a scraper. I'm going to press enter and I'm going to extract all the data from this website. All right, scrape extracted 40 audibles from the page and I can verify that this is the whole data because in one page there are 20 audiobooks and in two pages there are 40 audiobooks. So all the data was extracted and we have the name of the book, author and length. So now in the past, we couldn't export this table when we had that, that scraper plugin because it doesn't allow you to export it. But now using GPT mentions, we can use the data analysis plugin to export this table into a CSV file. So here I type at again, and then I'm gonna type data analysis. And as you can see, this is the first GPT. And now that I have this GPT enabled, I'm gonna type export this table as a CSV file and give me the link. So 
I press enter and we're gonna get the link to download this table as a CSV file. All right, I got this message and here's the link. So now I press on download and here you can see I have this audible underscore bestseller. So here I double click on it and I'm going to open this CSV file on Excel. And as you can see, here's the file, here's the data, name of the author, the book and the length. And now you can take this to the next level by using this prompt and extracting the data from the five pages. So here you should add three links more and all the data will be extracted. All right, so far we've seen how to use ChatGPT to extract data from websites, but ChatGPT can do more than that. And an app I've been using to understand much better how LLMs like ChatGPT work is Brilliant.org, which is the sponsor of this video. Brilliant is where you learn by doing, with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. Lately, I've been using Brilliant to learn how LLMs like ChatGPT worked. I dedicate around 10 minutes per day to learn a new lesson using Brilliant on my phone. 10 minutes might seem little, but believe me, learning a new thing every day is an important thing you can do for your personal and professional growth. Brilliant has a section dedicated to LLMs, where you learn how LLMs build vocabulary and choose their next word, and understand concepts such as biograms, creativity, temperature, and more. I love Brilliant's interactive exercises because they help me think rather than memorizing concepts, which is important to develop our analytical thinking. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash thepycooch or click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video and now let's go back to the video. All right, now let's see another example and in this case I'm going to extract data from another website and I'm going to use this data for a data analysis project that I'm going to do in coming videos. Here's the data that I'm going to extract, is data about football matches in the FIFA World Cup and all the data that we want to extract is inside these tables that you can see here and this is much simpler than the previous website. I just want to give you another example and now let's do the same steps. So you go to GPT-4 or you turn on the scraper plugin, you can do one or the other and then what you're going to do is call the scraper GPT in case you're in GPT-4 and then type the following prompt. So here. I'm just going to copy and paste the prompt I created before. And here I'm saying extract the football matches in this page. This is the page I showed you before. And I want the table with the home team, away team, and final score. So basically home team, away team, and then the final score, which is here. So all the information is in the match column. You can extract also information from other columns, but I'm just simplifying this. And then uh, that's everything. And here I'm going to press enter and extract all this data. And here it's telling me that it only extracted data from the group stage table, which is the table in blue, as you can see here. And I'm gonna tell it to extract data from the remaining tables. All right, now it's time to call the data analyst GPT to export all this data into a CSV file. And here I got the link to download all the data that we extracted using the scraper GPT. All right, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section if you know any other combination of GPTs that you find useful as a data analyst.